Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Hacker Associate Broadcast. You're watching the Hacker Show. In this framework, we are going to focus on Gemini. That is very, very important. I have recently launched one program called AI Powered Application Penetration Testing. Using an AI, you can hack any kind of application. Okay, uh, basically I'm talking about full stake web application penetration testing. And for that, okay, like we need a lot of agent. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure one of the powerful agent for your server, for your source code analysis, for a penetration test and tons of things you can do with this. So we need to set up a Gemini CLI. I'm going to teach you what is Gemini CLI, how to set up okay, in Kali machine as well as Mac system. We are going to decode okay, in today's video. So we will talk about this in section that Gemini CLI machines ke andar, and Mac system. Ke so let's get started. And I'll just okay show you each and every practical part of it. So just follow the presentation. And if you have any problem, just write in the comment section. Thank you. I'm going to open the presentation. Here is my presentation. Let's start with the PDF expert. And this is basically software I'm using for PDFs. Here's about Gemini CLI, AI powered terminal assistance. Okay. Let's stick to the topic. Okay. So what is Gemini CLI? So first of all, it is a free tier access. Okay. It's a paid basically framework. Okay. You need, I think maybe request per day, but generally, even if you have no idea about Gemini CLI, just, okay. What you can do is you can register for free and use a free credits. Okay. You require credit by the way, sooner or later, but you start with the free credits. Second powerful AI model. So we are using Gemini 2.5 Pro and one M token built in tools extensible platform. So as I mentioned, I'm also using Gemini and CLA for my MCP server. Installation is straightforward. So if you're using a Kali machine, you can use this command. Exactly. I use this command. First you install NPM. Once you install NPM, after the simple copy paste this command in your terminal and automatically Gemini is going to set up. After that, maybe if you're using a Mac OS, it's very simple command brew. Using a brew package manager, we can install Gemini CLI. So in my case, if you see in this area, I open a terminal and if you simple type Gemini, okay, and press enter. That's how you can interact with Gemini. This is the first way. So you can see it's loading. And I didn't edit, you need an API key also. If you are using this extensively for source code analysis and MCP server configuration, or maybe pen testing using an MCP servers. Okay. So for that particular purpose, you need an API key. So in my Mac system, I didn't configure API key, but I configured the same thing. Okay. In my Kali machine is exactly, I'm going to walk you through all this. So let's go ahead and check Kali machine and just check the PD here. I have mentioned each and every part of it, and I'm going to upload this particular presentation under disco. For example, I can go here. This is hacker associate. If you have no idea, you can simply navigate to the website called hackerassociate.com. If you see, there is a Discord button. You can join our server free of cost. And here you will find under the black hat recording. So this is the black hat recording, recording guide. And I'm going to add, okay, this Gemini presentation here. It means hacking using Gemini CLI, AI powered assistant. And I uploaded. So now you can download the presentation from here, okay, under the recording guide and the video, by the way, we are recording. So shortly after this live webcast or broadcast, I'm going to upload same thing on YouTube and other social media channels like Twitter and LinkedIn. Just follow there. Now, next part, what we can do that. So these are the ways, this is how you can interact with Gemini. This is the way like this, how you can add the API key and so on. Okay. So in my case, example, let's say here we have a Kali machine. Let's go quickly, open a terminator. Let's see that. Can we invoke Gemini from here? So Gemini, you can see this is the way. If you want to see it is working properly, you can specify minus minus prompt test configuration. Please say configuration successful. So I'm just checking that it is working or not. And side by side, I'm going to start Notion. So this is my Notion notes regarding Gemini AI. So if you're using a Mac, as I mentioned for Mac, this command and for Kali NPM using NPM, you can install even in Kali. I have taken the screenshot, like how I install the things. Okay. It is available. Okay. Under the recording guide. Okay. Under the discord, download the presentation. 
it start using gemini simple you hit basically gemini on your terminal and you will be able to open the gemini after that this is very very important part as i mentioned for attacking site api setup so here right so you can see a configuration is successful so in order to set the api keys there are two ways by the way number one you can use environment variable and you can do the things so first you need an api key right for api setup you need an api key so i am clicking on this link that is called aistudio.google.com just go to this website and create your api key from here i already created the api key and you need to set up a billing for that this is a paid thing according to your requirement you can set this part accordingly first you set the api key in my case you can see the website because i am running this program called ai powered web pen testing full stack pen testing we need api key download the api key from there and then set here so here are the command you can use gemini help gemini chat to start the chat session even you can ask to gemini regarding how to set up api key because the ai assistant it also help you out for that another part is gemini config you can also use to configure your api setting so i am using this command export gemini api key and i use the environment variable so i remove okay some part of api key so because i'm recording the video i don't want my api key exposed up on internet you can use your api key here accordingly so that's how you can do the things after that like if you want to add this thing permanently you can use echo and you can print this information to z shell right agar aap permanently add karna chahte ho then you need to add accordingly right this command on your terminal and then uh, automatically is going to add in this z shell after that you can easily check this is the second method okay you can create an environment variable add okay in your bash sh file or z shell or bash shell you can add permanently second case we can also do using this command first you can create a folder like dot gemini so in my case if you see in kali if i use ls minus la you can see this is gemini and here i have a setting dot json okay here i added the api key so you can see clearly we have a api key available here again i remove some part of the api key in order to just you know show cast to you so this is the way this is how you can add the api key this is the second method if you have done already this method there is no need to come to this point once you configure the api key then you can test your setup so what exactly you going to do with this let's say you have a github repository or you have source code which you want to analyze suppose i want to analyze this code example i'm taking it as example you can simply trigger a gemini from here like this and one gemini is going to start okay then okay you can specify the path which you want to analyze suppose i want to analyze home directory under the home directory i have a one web application source code so i can give that part automatically gemini okay using a free key is going to analyze it and then based on this is going to give you the vulnerability that's how you can use gemini okay but in this section i'm not covering how to hack okay using gemini i am just teaching how to set up gemini for hacking okay so this is the first stage okay first you set up gemini play with a prompt something like that okay some small small prompt you write it check the output once you are comfortable with this then go with the advanced version and again if you want to go more advanced like mcp server level configuration and server level penetration testing vulnerability identification a lot of tool we are using then check my program which is already shared in the link in the description i will look into this particular program 40 tasks we are going to cover i think 40 or 45 plus okay tasks okay we are going to cover each and everything is hands on we are going to cover so just check the full program and if you have any questions just let me know i have already a 30 plus video recorded on youtube you can have a look into this last webcast i have done on hacking using an burp ai so if you didn't watch that video please check that video the link is also available okay in the description thank you for watching I hope this video is informative for you. I am going to see you in the next broadcast. Have a great day and happy Dashera and happy weekend ahead. Thank you so much.